On Sunday morning, four lives were lost in a tragic road traffic incident near mile 45 on the Philip Golson Highway in Carmelito Village. The accident occurred around 6.40 a.m. as Jesus Che, his brother Gustavo Che, and his mother Angelita Che headed home to Orange Route Town. Gustavo Che, the driver, reported he lost control of the vehicle, causing it to spin and narrowly missing Juan Castillo's car before a catastrophic collision with a grey Mitsubishi SUV headed in the opposite direction. They lost control of the vehicle and they were swerving and it hit, it missed us just by like that most probably a few inches or feet and just ended up behind me in the lane and head on collided with the other vehicle that was coming behind. The impact claimed the lives of Gustavo Che, Angelita Che, the driver of the SUV, Cecilio Arana, and his son, 17-year-old Alan Arana. Police then uh, visited the hospital where it was uh, confirmed that Cecilio Arana, Aurora Che, Gustavo Che, and Alan Arana all passed away as a result of the fatal RTA. A police officer, uh, Andy Garcia, received serious injuries and is uh, being treated uh, and is in critical condition at this time. Castillo, Gustavo Che's close friend and colleague, was headed to Belize City for a graduation when the accident played out before her very eyes. She says Che's loss has left the family at Earned Rock Technical High School in complete shock and mourning. I'm still trying to process it. It's very hard because I have to replay everything in my head over and over. You know, um, the whole thing, the whole situation, everything, how it happened, it was just so fast. While Che's loss sent immediate shockwaves throughout the North, the loss of 17-year-old Alan Arana came to light hours after he was identified. He had only graduated a few weeks ago from the Orange Rock Technical High School, and his death has left a void in the hearts of many. I knew a lot of students who knew him. It's very sad that we lost him also. Um, there are a lot of teachers who knew him, and he was a very sweet, kind person, you know, I mean... He just graduated high school and it's so very tragic that this was what happened. And um, I know I have um, another friend teacher who she knew him for the entire four years. And it's very, very, very heartbreaking to have to hear that he also lost his life. Castillo says she spent most of his life in a classroom where he motivated and inspired many of his students. She spoke about his jovial personality and his love for teaching. Mr. Gustavo Chi was like, he was more than just a co-worker. He was a friend. I had the privilege of knowing him for nine years. Um, and uh, he was, he was, I was there. He was, he sat around me and some other friends in the staff room. He was always there, um, willing to listen when you wanted to speak to someone, um, we used to share jokes, um, stories. We used to talk like this last semester that he was there. Um, he actually sat behind me for this last semester and almost like every day we would have conversations. Both Gustavo Che and Angelita Che were well known and respected throughout their community and their deaths have sent shocks to many, including Minister of Health who shared condolences on Facebook. The two, according to Castillo, were like peas in a pod. He would talk about his mom. You know, they were very close. He loved his mom. He loved his whole family. His whole family loved him. From my understanding, when he spoke, he was very close to his nieces and nephews. So I um, would like to express deepest condolences to them from the bottom of my heart. I just, you know, I pray that God would place his healing hands on them, help them and give them the strength they need. PC Andy Garcia and Jesus Che remain hospitalized. Vigilvarez, Love News.